Welcome to LifeWords Day by Day. We're studying 1 Samuel chapter 17, the great epic of David and Goliath. And we've been talking about how David is a foreshadowing of Christ who defeats our greatest enemy, sin and Satan and death. But even though sin and Satan and death have been done away with for the believer, it still taunts and it still mocks and it still defies and it still challenges us to come and fight. It taunts God's way of parenting. It taunts God's prescription for marriage. It mocks God's word concerning holiness and manhood and womanhood. And we oftentimes fight against sin in our own strength with worldly weapons. Weapons of pragmatism, popularity, and people-pleasing. But listen to what it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ, being ready to punish every disobedience. So what are our weapons? Our weapons are truth and discipline, the sharpening of our minds with God's truth and the strengthening of our wills by God's Spirit. And we can go into battle because Christ, who is truth and righteousness, has gone before us because he lives in us. You know, the day we as a church decide to know and live upon the truth of God's word in the power of the Spirit is the day that we draw out our weapons for battle. Has it ever occurred to you that in this day of extreme radicalism and immorality, that the distinction between the people of the church and the people of the world should be getting clearer and clearer. But does it seem like that's happening? And if it's not, why not? Well, it might be because we either are not who we say we are, or we are not fighting the fight that we should, or we're fighting with the wrong weapons. In the story of David and Goliath, King Saul's coat of arms will not fit David for the fighting. Truth and discipline, that is what we are fitted with as a Christian. And I also want you to notice that in that text in 2 Corinthians, it says that we are to be ready to do this. We are to always be ready to fight. David, when he woke up that fateful morning, had no idea he would be facing Goliath that afternoon, but he was willing and he was ready. As you pray today, please remember our Creative Access missionaries in China. And also remember the Igbo Life Word broadcast that's heard throughout Nigeria.